Hey everyone, I'm Andy and welcome to another episode of Easy Tiki Drinks. And today on this Mai Tai Monday special, we're going to be taking a look at a Mai Tai made with a rum that is not designed to be put in a Mai Tai. Does that even exist? Well, it does. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Hamilton Zombie Mai Tai. So, let's do this. Now I've said many times on this channel before that the Mai Tai is a great vessel for showcasing rum, and that's true. However, not all rum was created to be put into a Mai Tai. Well actually, except for the Denizen 8, I don't know if any rum was ever created specifically to be put in a Mai Tai. But anyway, we're gonna be putting a rum that was specifically designed for another cocktail in the Mai Tai. So I guess that begs the question, just because we can, should we? I think we should. So let's take a look at what we're going to need to build this Mai Tai. First, we're going to need a rum. We're going to need an orange liqueur, orgia, demerara syrup, and lime juice. The rum that I'm using is the Hamilton Zombie Blend. The orange liqueur is Pierre Franz Dry Curacao. The orgia and demerara are homemade, and then the lime juice is fresh squeezed. Let's rearrange this. And there you have it, the Hamilton Zombie Mai Tai. That's it, right? I don't need to do anything else. I don't need to make the cocktail. I can just end the video. No, I'm just kidding. We're not gonna do that. We're, we're gonna build this. We're gonna talk about the Hamilton zombie rum. We're gonna give tasting notes and all that kind of fun stuff. So without further ado, let's just build this thing. First, we're gonna need an ounce of lime juice. We need a quarter ounce of our Demerara syrup. We're gonna need a quarter ounce of our orgia. We're gonna need half an ounce of our orange liqueur. And last but not least, we're gonna need two ounces of our Hamilton Zombie Blend. This is a tough cork, so be warned. But I got this. All right, we're gonna add ice to our shaking tin. Give it a nice little whack and then whip shake for about five to eight seconds. And grab our double rocks glass, open pour in, add a little bit more ice. And then we garnish with our traditional Mai Tai garnish, our mint sprig, making sure to wake it up. And our upside down lime shell. Don't forget your straw, as always. Now, I'm gonna give you a fair warning. I've never made a Mai Tai like this. I've never used this rum for a Mai Tai. As you can see, I've used it for other things, but I've never used it in a Mai Tai. So this is my first impression of the tasting notes. You ready? Let's do this. 
it's a sharp Mai Tai. Like, it's more acidic and more tart than I would attribute to a lot of the other Mai Tais. The sweetness is there, but honestly, I could probably up it a little bit. And then the rum is very rummy. Like, you can definitely tell there's rum in this cocktail. And it's, it's a sharp and bold flavored rum. So if I were to do this again, would I change it up? Maybe. I'll talk about that in a little bit. But first, let's talk about the Hamilton Zombie Blend, where it came from, what it's used for, and yeah, just what it is. So, I mean, it's called the Hamilton Zombie Blend, so if you don't really know what it's used for, I don't know how to help you there. But anyway, so if we take a look at the 1934 Zombie Cocktail, it included three rums. It included first an aged Jamaican rum, it then included a calm stilled Puerto Rican rum, and then it included a overproof or 151 Demerara rum. That's a lot of rums to have on hand for one cocktail. So Jeff the Beach Bombary and Ed Hamilton happened to be sitting at a bar one night drinking zombies. And they said to themselves, well, the zombie includes three rums, and that's a lot to have on hand. Is there a way to kind of combine all three rums into a single bottle? So Ed took the challenge and set out to do just that. And then he created the Hamilton Zombie Blend. The Zombie Blend is 118 proof or 59% ABV. It is a blend of three rums, Jamaican, Guyana, or Demerara, and Trinidad. Now we don't know the exact percentages or if somebody does, please leave a comment below because I tried to find it and I couldn't. And what he tried to do was create a rum that perfectly blended and could be put into a zombie with a single and this is a little bit different than the original recipe, two ounce pour. Why two ounces as opposed to the four ounces of rum in the 1934 zombie? Well, if you include, like if you calculate out the rums and the percentages of the 1934 zombie, it equates to about two ounces of the zombie blend. So for those of you paying attention, there's two ounces in this Mai Tai. This is a strong Mai Tai, but it's delicious. A little sharp. If I were to do it differently, I'd probably up the sweetness a little bit, maybe do half an ounce of the Orgia as opposed to the quarter ounce. But other than that, I think it's pretty spot on. Again, I've never made this before, so this was my first attempt, just winging it with a traditional recipe. But yeah, looking back, I'd probably up it to about a half an ounce of the Orgia to overcompensate for the kind of strong, assertive flavor of this rum. But anyway, it's a delicious Mai Tai either way. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click that little notification bell so you know when I post other videos. Go over on to Instagram and TikTok and follow me there at Easy Tiki Drinks. And that's it for today. So until next time, take it easy.